Today we're going to be looking at adjusting the voltage, hertz, and RPMs on a Stormcat generator. I'm using a kilowatt here, and you see that my hertz, which in turn correlates to the voltage, are running a little high, uh, about 29 volts. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust this. Uh, we're going to look at our pull start just above it there. You're going to see a port. In that port is a Phillips head screw. You need a Phillips head screwdriver. And what you're going to want to do is get your screwdriver situated in the Phillips head screw port. Now there may be some silicone there. You may have to uh, pull away with a, another screwdriver or a pick or something. But And this is on a vibrating engine, so it'll be a little difficult to get it to stay in place. But you get your screwdriver in there and then get either your voltmeter or in my case here I'm using again the kilowatt and I do this on Hertz because it's a little easier to keep up with it uh, it's not moving around so much but you're gonna go counterclockwise now it looks like I'm going pretty far uh, turning but this actually uh, I'm having trouble keeping the screwdriver in the screw head but you'll see here the Hertz are dropping which in turn is dropping our RPMs and our volts and you're gonna want to get this down as close to 60 as you can get it uh, 59 point something's fine, like up towards 61 is fine, but don't go too high. Uh, and you'll hear my engine is slowed down now. I'm at about uh, proper speed, which is another sign that you need to adjust it when your engine starts getting louder. It's loosened up, it's running a little faster. But see, we're down to 110 or so volts. Once there's a load on the engine, it'll speed up, pick up the load fine. And that's adjusting the hertz, amps, and volts on a Stormcat generator.